Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Good morning, how is everyone doing? Good morning, good morning, good evening, how is everyone doing? So today we're back to talking about Star Trek Enterprise. In this case, looking at just one episode from it. In this case, looking at the episode, Vanishing Point. But what actually happened in this episode? Well, in this in episode, Insing Hoshi passes through the transporter and finds that she is slowly disappearing. At the same time, she is the only person who can see aliens planting explosives in key ship systems with no way to warn the crew. Honestly, I gotta say, this was a pretty good idea as a story element. And the fact that in the past, there was always like characters that were always a little bit unearthed to use the transporter because of like, you know, the molecules and all that going out of whack. And yeah, I think like, you know, especially like inter enterprises like say the beginning of the timeline for the Trek universe, that it makes sense like say, okay, we're still having Trump, we're still a bit new with the technology. And I do think the, like, say, like, like, the moments, the dramatic moments, like, where Hoshi said, like, am I di gonna be disappearing, like, forever, or disappear? Good morning, sir. Captain Archer. Is everything all right? No, sir. Everything is not all right. We've had an accident with our transporting device. Transporting device. What is that? You don't have time for A this. matter stream converter. It was approved for transporting biomatter before we left Earth. Are really good little bits of dramatic ideas. Like, I mean, like especially that would be a very like a big sphere. Like say, like you know, like you know, you were there, but you're not able to interact with anyone. You're not able to. No one's able to even know you're there. And I do say, like, the aliens that do appear in the episode, they have a pretty cool design, honestly. However, I do think that the whole, like, near the end of the episode, that the fact that it is just a bit of a fake out in the fact that suddenly, uh-oh, like, say, okay, it was all a dream. Mostly because, like, near the end of the episode, it's revealed that Hoshi just needed to take a deep breath, and then suddenly, she is, her, all her molecules are all better, and she is fully on the ship, everything's all there. Now, I mean, honestly, it's a pretty good episode. It has, some, it has a bit of suspense, it has a bit of character development, it has a bit of, like, dramatic this to it. It always has, it always, and it has a bit of a story element. It was probably literally thought of, but never really dealt with, like, you know, uh, like, what would happen if the transporter didn't work. But that's just how I feel. 